Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to part six of View.j uh, View.js series. Uh, okay, View.js uh, uh, version two uh, with Laravel 5.8. And in the last few videos, you have seen that uh, we have worked on inquiries. Uh, uh, we have uh, posted the data uh, from contact form with View.js. Okay, and we are doing actually basic thing in View.js. So you have seen that we able to uh, implement the data with view.js and the data which is in our inquiries table and uh, from inquiries table we have uh, get the data from inquiries table to uh, here uh, we inquiries and we able to uh, means uh, show the data in table and now uh, we are going to add filter uh, we are going to add search filter here uh, to search uh, uh, the uh, uh, the inquiries uh, from the name okay uh, so uh, so let's start working on this feature as well okay so uh, uh, what i'm going to do a uh, few of the commands we need to run uh, first command i have already run to run the laravel that is php artisan serve and uh, now npm command we will also run uh, uh, that we are running every time one is the npm run watch okay that will tell us about the updates of view.js. Every time we will update, then it will tell that the uh, Laravel build mix, okay, Laravel, that, uh, sorry, uh, means uh, that will tell us, okay, about the progress. And uh, one command that we will run, that is npm uh, run development, dev, or we can run pre r o d production, okay. So now uh, this command we can also run and now uh, every time when we will refresh or every time when we'll make changes uh, then it will uh, tell us that we have made changes in uh, that view.js laravel mix okay so here uh, i'm going to open the project in sublime as well and i am going to take this sample 5.8 in sublime okay so now uh, i going to update that app.js file that we are working on last few times we have uh, done all this in last few videos and okay, now i'm going to refresh here and it will take some time uh, before it will tell us about the progress that it actually uh, is going on okay so okay so now uh, now uh, what we are going to do we will do uh, some change here uh, we are going to add one new uh, variable uh, here search variable we need just need to initial in, initialize search variable okay i am going to add one uh, variable here search okay with empty value like this okay and i'm going to save this and we'll see uh, still it is not showing laravel build it will take some time before it will show to us laravel build okay so after that it will show us uh, that thing okay so uh, we need to add that see here now it has come laravel mix build successful okay so now it is working fine that uh, okay so we have added one uh, search uh, variable here okay and you just need to initialize it and nothing else okay and after that, uh, we are going to add uh, one uh, one property here, like uh, we have done methods. And now we are going to add uh, one computer property uh, that is the part of view.js, okay? So we are going to add here computer, okay? Like this, okay? Computer, and uh, we can do uh, like this, okay, for computer and uh, you can search on that that what exactly the computer property of view.js do okay so uh, we are uh, going to use uh, here for one function we are going to make like filtered inquiries function we are going to make inside computer okay so i am going to generate one function here like uh, filtered uh, inquiries that will uh, means that will have the result uh, from the search uh, that we are going to type okay so this function we are going to add inside this computer property and here we are going to return okay 
return this dot inquiries inquiries uh, whatever uh, we are having the data in whatever variable that we are using for getting the data and we just uh, will use here as well where we are going to return because we are going to return uh, in this one only as uh, inquiries contains all the data you already know that this inquiries contain all the data and we uh, use uh, to print in view dot inquiries you can see here uh, that we use to display uh, based on this inquiries uh, here here uh, here you can see that based on this inquiries, uh, we are displaying all the uh, data in TR means it is going to repeat again and again. And this inquiries is having all the data. It is same like uh, array and uh, it is like JSON data and we are having everything inside this JSON data. Okay. And everything we are entering in this inquiries. And so uh, we are going to return this inquiries, whatever we are whatever the search result is we are going to return to this inquiries okay so we will do like this uh, inquiries dot filter okay and after that now uh, we are going to add uh, inquiry here because uh, inquiry we are using uh, okay uh, we will use here inquiry okay and after that this one and yeah, once again we are going to start like this do like this and like this okay so now we will do return once again return command once again and and in this return command uh, now we will pick this inquiry uh, that we have given here okay inquiry and after that uh, we are going to give here whatever uh, search means whatever we want to search from this inquiry you can see here inquiry and we want to search from name so we are going to give here name okay inquiry dot name okay here we will give inquiry dot name okay and after that straight away we will add that includes okay includes uh, that uh, is going to uh, add this dot search wherever uh, we this uh, field we are going to create okay this is the only thing, nothing else, okay? And this dot search is the uh, this one that we have added. So uh, we are just uh, means uh, getting means whatever search result uh, we are getting here, it will go uh, from here to here, and it's going to uh, we are going to find in the inquiries and whatever is the output going to send return there okay it, it will work like this okay so now see here the underscore inquiries in view in, in, in view underscore inquiries we need to uh, add one uh, field uh, search field where we want to search so we are going to add uh, one search field we can add here before table okay you can add simple input field here like input uh type here we have test okay and name will not come because we will add here uh v model okay that we use for uh view.js okay so we are going to add view v model and in v model uh we are going to add this search uh whatever the name we are using okay we are going to use the same search okay so after search and then uh, we can add here placeholder so that uh, we will come to know that uh, we are going to write here search name okay and rest is fine and we are going to see here uh, search uh, field will come here uh, when we are going to search okay you can see search here uh, we will give some uh, here some style also we can give okay so that uh, uh we can align it okay margin top uh, we can give 10 pixel and margin left we can also give here like uh, we can give 5 pixel okay like this and like this okay we can give it like this and 
now it will look better uh, like this okay so now it is better search name okay so now uh, we are going to uh, replace this inquiries with uh, this uh, filtered inquiries uh, that we are using okay because uh, if research is not there, it will include everything. Okay, I am going to replace this inquiry with the filtered inquiries. Okay, and I am going to now uh, refresh here and we'll see. Uh, you can see all the data is still coming. And here uh, I am going to search uh, with Amit and still nothing is coming. And uh, I will search with capital A M I T. Then it is searching. You can see. Uh, that it is case sensitive and and you you, you can see that uh, if i am uh, searching uh, with a m i t then it is searching if i am searching with john then it is not coming but if i am searching with capital john then it is searching fine you can see and it is searching from the view dot js this time okay but we will also resolve this issue and uh, we just need to update app dot js and uh, we just uh do here uh to lowercase method we need to add here uh so that uh even if we will add uh we will add type the word in caps or lowercase it does not matter okay so uh so we are going to uh, add here uh after name and i'm going to add one method here to lowercase okay uh, so that even if we are typing in caps, it's going to convert it into lower case. Okay, and I am going to uh, add this one also here at the end here as well. Okay, so whatever we type, it it is going to convert it to lower case, and uh, so it will search based on that. Okay, so now I will try again. Build successful has been done, and I am going to try once again. Okay, so. Uh, so that uh, it can search even if we have done with lowercase. I'm going to type that Amit with lowercase this time, and you can see that it's able to search this with lowercase as well. Okay, and this one I'm looking for. Okay, now it can search with lowercase as well, and uh, you can you know, able to search like this. Okay, and uh, whatever if even if i will uh, uh, type uppercase then also it is searching so now it has become perfect okay and now we can search uh, from any much of data we can search and instantly without refreshing the page you can see that it is not refreshing the page uh, it, it works instantly whatever we do it comes it is really very very fast faster than even ajax and it is uh recommended for laravel 5 and uh, laravel itself and we are doing in laravel 5.8 okay so uh, you can also do this at your end and you can add searches for email subject and message at your end as well okay uh, so you just need to update this query and you can uh, i think do from your end and uh, that's all for now in this video we have that much only we have done this uh filter search and uh, we will uh, do much more things in view.js and uh, in the upcoming videos okay and i hope that everything is clear to you and you can even search more on uh, on google itself if, if you want to learn more and i will keep helping you uh, in view.js as well okay and if you have any queries you can uh, surely uh, comment me uh, under video and uh, surely you can subscribe for updates okay okay then have a nice time goodbye